I'm Mr Stoddart, I'm an assistant principal at Kenton School and I look after maths. Uh, what I want to do is just uh, give you some information that will help you, help the students achieve the best possible results in the summer. Uh, they're going to be taking uh, the 9 to 1 maths exam, with the 9 being the top grade, 1 being the bottom. Uh, grade 4 and above is called a standard pass, and grade 5 and above is a secure pass. Uh, grade 7 to 9 are really sought after and we were really pleased last year with the number of students who got grade 7 and 9 five students even got a nine grade. The GCSE Maths exam is made up of three papers, each of them an hour and a half long. The first paper is non-calculator and the second and third papers are both calculator papers. So from my point of view it's really important that students know how to use a calculator. So if you can support us by trying to get your students to come to school with a scientific calculator, that would be really great. Assessment takes place every lesson with teachers asking questions to find out what students can and can't do. Uh, we'll be setting homework each week and students need to do that so we can see strengths and weaknesses. And then from November onwards we'll be doing four nightly tests in class. After each of the mock exams, uh, each student will receive some really clear information about what their strengths and weaknesses are and we'll guide them as to some links and some resources they can use to address those weaknesses. Hello, we are the Key Stage 4 Intervention Solves for the Maths Department. We work with students in small groups or one-to-one, -one, as well as with the teachers in the classrooms. We also carry out exam analysis to find weaknesses for individual students. We'll be running revision sessions after school in the lead up to the mocks and the final exams and following the PPA we'll be running topic specific workshops which will be inviting some students to come to to work on some of their weaknesses and your support in getting students to attend those would be much appreciated. I'll be trying to communicate with parents as much as possible through email and through the Matt's Twitter account. So I'd really encourage you to keep an eye on both of those things. I'll be sending through resources, information of what we're covering in class and about coming assessments.